Hello everybody, welcome back to Viscera Cleanup Detail, specifically Athena's Wrath. So, let's just make a quick save. Oh, do, 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 do. That's fine, we'll, I, we'll get there anyway. Alright, let's continue our jams. Make, well, you know what a minute, YouTube is a thing. YouTube is a thing, and it gets a bit thingy about its things. One of those things is music. What? What? Alright, hop-yah! Get out of here! Uh, you too! And... Gans! What's that? Oh, Gans! Was that? Nothing. Okay, good. Good. Shouldn't be anything. You can kind of see something way over there! Can't reach it yet. That's what the that's what the harm is for. We could jump on this if we wanted to. Yeah, there's a big ol' mess right there. We definitely have to go over there. Yeah! Okay. So, let us resume. And, uh, where's my bucket? Where did I put my bucket? I must have thrown it out. Well, you know, that happens. That happens. Okay. Wee! Wee! What, what's in here? Not a dang thing. Oh, that's right! I wanted up here because I was going to read off what the blood all says. So let's see if we can check that out. So it's... Ugh. Something perished? Let me see. Ev everything is um, per permitted? Everything is permitted? I guess. I don't know. Is everything permitted? I'm pretty sure we have laws for that. But Well, us here on Earth have laws for that. I don't know about the interplanetary conglomerate. Oh boy! Just what I wanted! A leg! <sighs> Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> that is going to happen a lot. Kapow! We'll, we'll <laughs> deal with that in a bit. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know if I showed you this, but... Boop boop! I stood in the blood. You can leave little tracks all over the place. That you... <sighs> that you have to clean! <laughs> uh, you can end up making quite a mess! Quite a mess more than you meant to make. <laughs> Maybe I'll, after we clean it up, we'll have a little video where we just start up a level and we just wreck the place. Oh good! What is it this time? Part of a- ah! Get out of my way. Get, get out of my way. This part of a head? I think it's part of a brain. Why this object vends such things? Nobody knows. It, um, it just, it just does. And that's really all there is to it. So, anyway. <laughs> Back to this mess. There are many messes. Many messes. You must choose your messes wisely. For fear of making a more significant mess. I wish I could make that sound more deep than it is, but you know, it's just cleaning up mess. <laughs> this game, especially when paired with music one likes, is very meditative. It does get you in the mood to just start cleaning one's own messes. Oh, yeah. Look at all that. Gross! Ew! Alright, so I feel like coming back here, putting a trash in here as much as we can. Reasonably clear. Oh, dang old chip bags. Dang old chip bags! Always causing problems. Always. There we go. What is this? This is called the Fat Man! <laughs> It almost looks like urinating tree, like a reference to urinating tree. I'm not sure what that is. Alright, so this is Major uh, Jaina Carey Kerrigan. Major Troublemaker. <laughs> it's this job title. Okay. Primary objective. Contain the botanical outbreak and find Dr. Baumgartner's research notes. Secondary objective. Shoot up the place real good. 
who had been hired by a wealthy client to secure his investment in a certain project being conducted here at this research facility. You are to secure the area and locate what remains of Dr. Baumgartner, but more importantly, his research notes and any plant samples kept in storage. Stu. So. <laughs> Again, this is in 2184. Oh, well, that's not... That's still not... There we go. All right, let's see. Can I safely get the... Oh, oh, oh. oh boy. Did it. I did it. <laughs> so, this one here is for crates. This is a crate. This is a crate. This is a crate. Remember, this is the intro level, so they're trying to gently ease you into stuff, right? All right, Dr. No, Vlad, you are. We'll get to those in a sec. PIDs are important. PID is short for personal identification, if that isn't clear to somebody. Oh, there's there's Dr. Baumgartner. Hey, buddy. How did your thing go? How did it go? <laughs> That's how it went. <laughs> First off, we're going to collect a bunch of these, and then we will enter them right here in this thing. Right here. This functioning machine. Okay, now, <laughs> alright, this is Dr. Gaywood, alright, and I think we read his thing. Do -do 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 -do. Well, we'll get to your note in a second. Alright, this is Herbert Fig. Hey, buddy. He's having, he's in timeout, because he's having corner time, you see. Oh, let's see. Alright, so, I did not touch parts. Excuse you. All right. Who is this? This is Jacques Anderson. All right. Who you is? You are. Oh boy, Greta. Christoffel. I am terrible with foreign names, so that's just also going to be part of this thing. All right. This is Remy Young Pants. That that is a fun name, Mr. Young Pants. Oh, look at you! Your pants are even still attached! Good for you! A lot of people here can't say that. So, you know, count your pants base blessings. Who is this? Gideon Tripe. Okay. Sure. That was from up there. Do 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 do. Alright, so now we've cleaned a lot of the floor space. Do 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 do. Cleaning up this messy blood. Rude! Mm. You know, you ever just walked into your office and found out the people, your coworkers, just left their innards everywhere? See, look at that. Just made a bigger mess. I'm trying to help, and they just made it worse. I uh, get get in there. <laughs> look at this big bundle of guts. Reminds me of the Metalocalypse song, "Briefcase Full of Guts." I wish I could sing it appropriately, but. You know, I just don't have a good death metal song, uh, voice. That's that's what I meant to say, voice. I just don't have a good death metal voice. I can try, though. I'm not sure you want me to, but I could try anyway. <laughs> ah! This is my video. I can sing if I want to. Let's see. Nah, we'll call that good for now. Come here. Let's pick up some junk on our way. Here we go. We got this can. Where's this can of? Can of jing... Go, Jingo Pop. Jingo Pop. Okay. Uh, pff, could be any kind of beverage. Maybe it's engine oil. We don't know. We never get to have any. Huh. Rude. They don't even leave out nice tasty snacks for us. We will not find a vending machine that does not exist. Well, not a vending machine of tasty snacks. There's, you know, work-based vending machines, but those are lame. Who wants work-based vending machines? To do your work. Now, I hold the tab key. It's the default is tab, right? But I hold the tab key and we walk. This is walking. This is sprinting. <laughs> ah! I'm not tilting the box. It just tilts on its own. Hubba! Get in there. Okay. Doing great. Oh, here's my water. I knew it was somewhere. Where? Oh, well now it's full. Womp womp. Okay. Oh, hey, look, a bunch of trash. This is why your science fails! You are bad! Bad scientists! Bad! 
You do not leave a big, huge mess everywhere. <sighs> I don't know who you expect to clean up after you. I mean, I'm being paid to do it, right? But this is this is after the fact. Like, who did you think was going to clean it up as you were doing it? That's what I want to know. Dirty. Now, let's since this guy this guy is in two very well a few more than two, but mainly two very convenient pieces. Hello. How are you doing? Do -do 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 -do. And ha! There he goes. He's having a great time, right? You wanted to take a trip? Now I guess to take a trip someplace warm forever. <sighs> we're doing we're doing good work here. We're doing <sighs> This guy has no arms. See he's like no <laughs> Can't take my mask off. I'm sorry, I can't take it off you either, but I can help you go see your friend. In the hot place. I will take you and your butt. Uh, we can turn. Oh, so I've got his leg, not his whole butt. Okay. Hey, uh, there will be parts where we just get butts. So, there's that to look forward to. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. There we are. Give me another one. Oh, I don't want that. I have to clean that up. See? Legs. Da -da 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 there you go. Uh, what did you give me this? Another leg. Eventually we'll get a whole person. But not yet. We have to wait. <laughs> Maybe we'll leave this here for the end and see if we do, in fact, receive a whole person. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, so since we're, don't fall. Since we're getting further along, I wish to close this side, open this side. Hey, guy, how you doing? Guess what? I will relieve you of timeout. Unfortunately, you're going to a different kind of timeout. <gasps> okay, I got that. Don't, don't do more. All right. Yeah, but don't worry. All your work buddies are there. And you'll all be in your nice fancy suits. Get this trash, or I'll find it a little easier. That's also a pretty good technique I find is to kind of gather up trash as you go. So it's just when you have the proper bins and receptacles, it's easier to just get it all together. Get your junk together, man! Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want to come with you. I'm going to sit right here. Well, I mean, you can feel that way all you want. But what's happening is we're going to the incinerator. All right, you are a whole person. I just don't feel like taking you right now. Oh, we got to go back there anyway. So, doo -doo -doo -doo. you are not quite a whole person. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Sploosh! Wee! Ah. Okay. Now you might be asking. PS Dub, why are there bullet holes in the wall? I mean, we've, yeah, we found bullet casings, you know, so... I mean, it makes sense that there would be some other evidence. But, you know, the, there's not evidence of other things. You know, there's no scratch marks or... Uh, you know, I can't interact with these vines here, so why are there bullet, bullet holes? Well, we don't have access to it right now, but before the end of this level, we will need to patch those up. And we will patch them up with a super cool laser. <laughs> See, this is supposed to be the future, right? Lasers. Lasers that can just fix. They just fix the problems. Right? Have a marriage problem? Lasers. <laughs> That's, that's what counselors say, right? Have a problem with, with something, just lasers? I don't know. Clearly I've not studied psychology enough. hi -ya! This guy is like, hey, I'm the welcoming committee. I welcome you all over this place. Yeah, you sure do, friend. You sure do. Oh, now it's been long enough. Let's have some music, huh? Pow. Ooh, the Escalator Crew by Squeaky Clean. 
Or maybe I'm reading it wrong and it's the other way around. I don't know. I don't know. Some things do it differently. Let's see. I'll show you the office. Uh, not this video, but a uh, soon video. And we will explore the wonders of the office. We will find another one. That way we can have a little more consistent music or something like that. But for now, we just have some directional tunes softly beaten in the background. Get those nice oomphs, oomphs. Alright, so we got all your innards. Who else is in it? Who else? Innards? Innards? Ooh, that was jingly. I like that. Uh, hey, you have some innards. I will take those. Thank you. Is this, uh, yes, I will have my insides to go, please. Oh, well, what do you know? This is like reverse Uber. Or, uh, reverse Uber Eats, where I pick you up just parts of you, and then I drop you off to be incinerated and never return. I'm not quite sure it's a very mm, popular business model, but you know what? For this company, it sure does work. <laughs> da, da, da. Go. See, and these are almost together, right? So, sometimes things like to explode a little bit on you. You just gotta Roll with the guts as they go. Do, 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 do. Sometimes it's really hard to catch them. They're slippery guts. Slippery little guys. Here's a hand. Do you need a hand? Obligatory joke. I would applause, but I only have one. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's see. I think we've gotten all the PIDs for the first floor. I'm calling that one up there the second floor. So, think about all the PIDs for the first floor. So, that in mind, let's show you what we do with them. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. There's the game's music, and then there's my music. You're welcome. Alright, so here's this little thinger. What's it called? The punch o -matic? That's right. And get out! Okay. So, this little guy here, right? Swipe your card and pull the crank! Attention, do not put gum on or around the device. Any and all perpetrators will be bumped up for reassessment. Thank you, and have a productive shift. Cultivating the acorns of science. <laughs> and notice in the background it says Athena. Lovely. Um, something I noticed since I started playing is that they added little... Whoops. Uh, we'll get to that in a bit. They added little... Uh, backgrounds to the punch o -matic. It used to be one uniform thing. Um, see how is punch out? Has your janitorial work here met the requirements of the company as well as your own high personal standards? I wish I could do more for my company. Give me some paperwork to fill out for extra marks. I'm proud of my performance and certainly will meet with approval. I don't care. I'm done here and the union's got my back. Or no, I'm not done. I was just checking the machine. Well, for now we're going to check this. Boop. <laughs> And thankfully, you don't have to fully activate it in order to uh, put these in there. So, Remy Young Pants. Gideon Trap. Get Gideon Trap. Gideon in there. Dr. Baumgartner. Whoops, that person. Jacques something. Herbert Big. Uh, Vlad Yuan. Oh, Reddit Young something. Dr. Gatewood. There y'all are. So, we're going to do a quick save here. Save, you save. It does have autosave, but, you know, as with most autosave things, you usually you want to do intentional saves also. So, oh, what's our jam this time? Ooh, what is this? Uh, flower pant. Uh, oh, gosh, I can't speak. The Catalyst versus Cosmic Voodoo Power Pant. Ow, my elbow. That's not meant for that. Okay, mm there we go. Let's continue. Ooh. Here's your daily warning not to slam your elbows on the hard surfaces. It's, ooh. Yep. Yep, yep. Mmm. Okay. Whew. All right, that wore off quickly. Good. All right, what is this? Did we do this one before the Shiva will be rolled? Yeah, we saw this one. Uh, pfft, get out of here. And we're going to quick jump. That almost sounds like some doom music. Oh no! 
Oh! See, I didn't quite want a hand, but it almost looks like he's rocking. See? Yeah! Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I don't know what organ this is supposed to be, but it's going in the bin. <laughs> and then I can reach way back there to grab this mass. <laughs> What's funny is when it dispenses straight up brains. It makes you feel a bit like you're in a zombie thing. Although that would be the opposite of a problem for zombies. If you could just hit it, slap a machine around and have it dispense brains on command, that would be the opposite of a problem. All right. Where, where is some, so, oh, found you, found you. Oh, fun fact, those wet floor signs do not count as, um, dirty objects or uh, trash. They are, mm, I mean, they're included in the level, obviously, but they don't go against your final score. And the final score, are you? <sighs> okay. This note is like, read me again. I say nay. There we go. There we go. At least the innards are cooperating. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Gaywood's innards for cooperating at least a little bit. Crisps. Oh. When I hear crisps, I think of like uh, dried fruit slices. Are... Alright, so we're doing great. We're doing great! We are so fine. Well, I think we will leave this one here in case more bits. Oh, wait! That's part of a face! Isn't it? I don't know. Well, we'll figure that out later. Ooh. Was it? No, I thought that there was a can. I keep thinking I see cans. Cans! Yeah. <laughs> okay, so our barrels. This is for crates. The other side is for barrels. We will get to that in a bit. So, another good strategy if you decide that you actually want to stack up all the things is to try to make as efficient trips as possible. So I promise, I'm, I'm not trying to make these levels longer than they... That's a, that's a good jam. Oh yeah! Right? So you just spend a little bit of time walking back and forth. Just a little bit. Or even just doing that. Chuck it there. Close enough. We will handle it later! Ah! I'm the monster throwing things in this house! Ah! Oh, that one got some sweet distance. I don't want to stack my barrels up just yet because... You go, oh, found more trash. Rude. Anyways, I don't want to stack up all of our things just yet because we need to check for bullet holes. That one did not get much distance. That's okay. <sighs> Ever had those days when you're like, Monday, got off shift. Blech. That is this guy's uh, existence. So he doesn't count as alive. Alright, so these are all crates. Weird crates, but crates. Sometimes the game has some pretty interesting ideas of what is designated as a crate. There is at least one level where we get to have a fun time seeing the limits of what is and is not a crate. Oh, I found you, bullet. Found you! Let's see, let's look at this thing. Okay, okay, I can't quite tell. I'm sure if you were to actually crack open the code, you might be able to see it on the texture file, but I can't see it here right now. Boom! Alright. What is that? That is for this. Barney Cullum. Nice to meet you. And your meat. I, I had to. I will be making many puns. <laughs> So again, if, if gore, viscera, swearing by me or by other people, and uh, puns are not to your liking, you know, I'm sorry, this this just isn't one for you. I just want this out of here. Get out of here! Don't tell me how to walk. Yeah. Nice! It'd be cool if there was a bowling mini game. <laughs> if you, like, chuck these at some standing barrels or something. <laughs> All right, give me this. We where we go? So we still have lots of bits over here. Bits, bits, bits. 
Well, look at that. Two arms and three bits. It almost seems like some kind of uh, Rick and Morty code, you know? Rick came through here. He intentionally left two arms and three innards. What does it mean? Alright, what does this say? What does this say? By Dr. Baumgartner. Lead botanist. Our research has been going well. I now believe we can successfully isolate the plant life from its soil and they will naturally walk until they find some on their own. It is my hope that we will be able to market sentient plants as a user-friendly alternative to traditional potting. With our plants, people won't need to care for them as the plants will care for themselves. We may even be able to market the little fellows as family companions. The Braxius Botanical Mutilus, for example, is particularly frisky and sociable. Well, we know how that turned out, don't we? <laughs> Garbage. And on that note, we will see you next time. Happy gaming, and see you then.